Hello and welcome back to another episode of the only traitor DLC for this. It's calm here and fresh air. Fantastic. I love fresh air. Looks like a farm. My grandparents own a farm. Ah! I can kill it. I still have zero health. I can't even see my health. Okay, zoom in on that health. Yeah, I can't see that either. What? Okay. Charge and boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. <laughs> All right. Um, smash a Rooney. I killed a horse. The zombie horse, but still, I killed a horse. I should be devastated, but I'm not. All right, I'm still alive somehow. I'm actually gonna use my Q. Look at that, I'm full health. That's an awful place to hide. That's a grain silo. I, more or less, it's an awful place to hide. Uh, I haven't, I've seen the inside of one. They're not that bad a place to hide, but they're a pretty obvious place to hide if you're from the country. It's a nice place. Peter, I remember your name. At least I think that's his name. Come on, come on, die, 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 die. There we go. Um, I had something important I was gonna say. Uh, but I can't remember it. No, explode the window. Oh, fuck you. Ah, eh, whatever. Figure it out again someday. Come on. Ooh. Close enough, close enough. Oh, oh, she's dead. Time to reload. And take the high road, or the low road. Don't know which one this is. Oh, oh, I got a bed kit. Oh, that's fantastic, I just used one too. Hey, it's those silo things from the background. That's pretty cool. Come on, I wanna get through this quickly. Explode. No. Through the door. Because physics. Eh. Won't complain. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what awaits. Oh, these people. Uh, one box. Line it up. And that guy took a box to the face. And he took a baseball bat to the face. And he's the one that went down. He took a base, two base, a full swing baseball bat, a second swing, and then it took a gunshot to take you down. What are, this, what are the cells for? But your friend goes down to a box. All right then. The Order of the Advent is holding assembly for those who wish to depart for the shelter of faith. If the government building is shelters only for the upper echelons, when the time comes, they will not allow people like you and me inside. They will abandon the ordinary hardworking people the backbone of this country. Join us together. We will be safe from coming menace. Transportation for anyone who's interested will arrive on Monday. Uh, quote unquote transportation has arrived. Richard, I put it up. Sanity. Can't do this anymore. I'm taking Melissa and leave us. Don't try to contact us. That's depressing. Hi, Richard. Richard? Richard? The heck are you, Richard? What the heck was? I've never seen that before. That's a new zombie. Oh, boy. These are also new zombies. Uh, compared to the other game, at least. You didn't have any zombies that crawled after you. Those people are still, uh... Not as annoying as they once were. Anything to click on down here? No? Okay. For example, Arthur had connections to... Cri oh! 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 Oh, this is page 13. We read page 12 earlier. Uh, for example, Arthur had connections to criminal organizations and Thornton's corruption was known to the new world as well as it was to the old one. I believe that Vermin knew that and he was getting into when he was getting into when he gave a portion of the government's authority to these people. As far as I can tell, he wanted the country to be reborn no matter what the cost and in the end he paid a terrible price for it. Oh, oh wait, according to official records, this is page 12. I was wrong, we read page 11 at the beginning. 
or page 10, whatever it was. According to official records, the council is made up of the best minds in the country. However, we determined the council only has four members that work under false names. Vermin had to find new supporters in order to rebuild the country. Many of these members, the people, common folk, weren't prepared to see in power. Like, uh, like that Thornton dude. What's this? Dear Mr. Diggs, we'd like Menem's book, The Council Exposed, which you edited, was denied by the administration of Armin White. We hereby inform you that any future submissions of you or Mr. Will be automatically died. Omega Publishing. Seems like biased publishing, but hey. I already set up the wiretap. Which one? The one in the architect's house. Yes, I did it last week. So what have you heard? Looks like he's got a dampening device. The architect does. Are you sure? Absolutely. Ellipses. Give me my gas and food already. What does it take to get some gas and food in this world? Oh, jeez. Wowzers. Huh. That was a thing. Um. Go up. No. Damn it. I didn't mean to hit. I did not mean to hit the queue. But hey, whatever. Worked out anyways. Hey, finally the food I was asking for. More money. Money I could have used last time. Whatever, beggars can't be choosers. Boop. Wow. That was intense. Wow, was theirs. I can't seem to get rid of the fish smell. I can't work under these conditions. Buy some scented candles today. If they don't help, well... You have to do something about your hobby, Al. Whoa, Janine. Oh, that was to Janine. Janine had a fishy hobby? Huh. What's over here? Another house. How many gosh darn houses are there? Wow, that guy's pretty cool. Janine from Alan. Boom. Oh, I messed up my shot. Dang it. Uh, at least that was a good one. I don't have laser sights. I'm just guessing. Hi. Hi. Hey. I don't know. Hey. I saw your car from the window. Are you going to the shelter? Yeah. Will you take me with you? Bob Cross, Brewer, versus Bill Jerome. I'll take Bob. Bob just because he has more social. Bill, I love you. Bob seems funny. Retrospect, I probably should have stayed with Bob. No, don't you dare shove me back. I'm supposed to just kill you, and that's the way it is. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Rick, Marty. Oh, my gosh. That hurt. That hurt a lot. All right, hold on. What was that? Request, I'd like to transfer the second bottle labeling unit to the third pouring unit. That sounds boring as heck. I'll bite though. What do I gotta do? Uh, uh, there's probably no tunnels going back that way. I'll just go down and check. Oh, there's my gas bottle. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That's the one thing that goes big. Those glowing red eyes. That's freaky. Bad a zombie run at me with glowing red eyes? I'd probably just say kill me. <laughs> no, I... I didn't check something out. I don't think. But you know what? That's fine. Oh, jeez. What the butt? Did it save? It saved. Alright. You took a baseball bat to the freaking face. Adam Thornton. Yes. 
You guys have taken four freaking shots to the face. You guys are not wearing helmets. You guys should be dead is what I'm saying. What in the world possesses people to not die from obvious dying problems? No, I don't give a crap about that guy. Found a word, buyer three crates. Don't say a word about this Adam or you know what he will do. Adam will probably kill you. That's just a guess. I'm um, right under my car. Hey, that's cool. Um, I'll go back to my car, I guess. Let's go. Onward. Onward ho. Everything is ready. I can go now. All right. Oh, I got Bob Cross, dude. Hey. Thanks for taking me with you. Oh, I didn't pick up the other guy. No problem. How are you doing? Fine. So, are you a brewer? Yeah. I'm brewing it, I'm drinking it, if you know what I'm saying. Totally. Do you happen to have a bottle with you? No, are you nuts? You can't drink and drive. Come on! What if we're stopped by the cops? We'll come up with something. It won't work like this. Wait. Huh? What goddamn cops are you talking about? Oh crap. For a second I forgot where I'm. And what is happening in the world? Oh well. Not the best time for drinking. Let the vroom vroom take you away. 